Total knee replacement surgeries are fairly common. In the next four years, the number of surgeries is expected to grow by 600 percent to 3.5 million procedures a year. And while nearly half of all American adults develop knee osteoarthritis in at least one knee during their lifetime, is replacement surgery the only answer? Shelley Botot has more in Health Watch. Currently, around 12% of adults in the U.S. have painful arthritic knees that limit mobility. And each year, more than 640,000 of them have them replaced at a cost of well over $10 billion a year. But is knee replacement surgery always necessary? It's a great surgery to get people their lifestyles back when they get to that point. But how can you determine if you've reached that point? Some experts are now questioning if knee replacement surgery is being done too soon on patients before they've had a chance to explore other options. We're seeing arthritis at an earlier age. So having alternatives and ways to treat arthritis is important. One option is losing weight. Sometimes this can significantly decrease knee pain. Pain relievers, anti-inflammatory drugs, or corticosteroids are all less invasive treatment options than surgery. If these aren't giving you results, get gel injections directly into the knee joint to lubricate it. Exercise and physical therapy should also be tried if you want to exhaust all other options first. I think people have to weigh every option and what's best for themselves. Up to 20% of patients end up dissatisfied with the outcome of their surgical procedures. This is why it's vital you understand the clear benefits and harms of knee replacement surgery. The recovery is no walk in the park. Experts say knee replacements last between 10 and 20 years, so delaying surgery is sometimes your best option. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Shelley Botot, Local 5 News.